Over a third of all cars fail their MOTs first time each year. So here are a few simple checks you can make on your car to make sure it doesn't fail on something that can easily be fixed beforehand. MOTs use equipment that we won't have at home, but you'll be surprised what we can easily check ourselves and put right. Most fails are due to lights. It only takes a few minutes for you and a friend to ensure the headlights, side lights, and the direction indicators and hazards are all working, as well as the number plate lights. You'll of course need a friend to press the pedal for you, so you can check these at the back. While you do these, you can also check the fog and reversing lights as well, because these are now in the MOT test. You need to check the tyres. We've a separate video guide on this, but you need to make sure you have at least the legal minimum of 1.6 millimetres across, at least three quarters of the width. Check the tyre walls as well for cuts and bulges. If in doubt, get a free check at a tyre centre. Make sure your number plates are clean with no cracks or water ingress and with no illegal spacing or font, or you'll be failed at the MOT. Check your windscreen. In the area covered by the wiper sweep, there should not be a crack or any damage more than 10 millimetres. If in doubt, your windscreen centre can advise and you may be able to get it fixed or replaced on your insurance policy. Are your wiper blades effective? You should really change them every year. Don't take the chance of them failing the MOT. Your mirrors should be checked to ensure they are not cracked or permanently misted and can be adjusted easily. The seat belts shouldn't have any tears or frays. They should lock when pulled sharply and every one that is fitted should connect and unsnap correctly. Your oil levels need to be checked. And did you know that you can also be failed for having an empty screen wash bottle or your washer jets blocked? We've separate videos on both of these subjects on the GEM website or YouTube. Check every door opens and shuts securely and that they can be opened using the inside and outside handles. The MOT test also will check to see if the rubber seal of the fuel filler cap is perished. Another easy one to do yourself. Finally, inside the car, ensure the handbrake is effective. No warning lights are showing up on the dash and the horn works. <laughs> Doing these tests yourself will keep you legal, roadworthy and safe. What's more, it'll dramatically reduce the chances of an MOT fail and the hassle of emergency fixes and a retest. Thanks for watching. For award-winning breakdown cover, visit motoringassist.com.